There are really only a few paintings out there that can really captivate an artist in the same manner as Diego Velazquez's Las Meninas. Velazquez incorporates various techniques, from the use of contrast and composition, to a very interesting utilization of linear perspective. It's a painting that speaks to many artists through its formal elements, which help guide the viewer to interpret Velazquez's true focus. To begin with, Velazquez plays with the painting's large scale. At a canvas size of around 318 by 276 centimeters, one might initially assume that this is the kind of painting that really needs to be taken in from a distance. However, the composition of Las Meninas locates its human figures along the bottom half of the canvas. This encourages the viewers to take a closer look at the contents, since they actually get physically closer without feeling overwhelmed by its sheer size. In addition to the composition, Velasquez also forms a sharp contrast between the brightly lit people in the front and the rest of the dark room looming behind. The first thing that the viewers would notice is the brightly lit child at the center wearing her white dress. She contrasts heavily with the shadows blanketing the rest of the large room behind her and the others. This, along with the blurring of the two large paintings on the back wall, further supports the idea that Velasquez wanted to present this piece in a way that makes it easy for it to be approached and examined. In essence, these formal elements allow most viewers to feel comforted as they begin examining the painting from its initial point of interest. Furthermore, now that Velasquez holds the attention of the viewers, he begins to confuse them by having the viewers question what the figures are staring at exactly. The painter on the left appears to be painting yet another large piece, just like the two large paintings seen on the back wall. Most viewers will probably infer that this new painting will be a large portrait of the couple seen reflected in the mirror along the back of the room. This would also answer why five of the figures appear to be breaking the fourth wall, since they would be simply staring at the couple in the foreground. This perception, however, is challenged through the linear perspective of the mirror. Surprisingly, the orthogonal lines of the room do not converge towards the location of the mirror. This mathematically indicates that the figures are really looking at something else that is located beside the man seen in the mirror. This could suggest the possibility that the artist on the left is actually painting a portrait of the viewer instead of the couple seen in the mirror. Indeed, Velasquez uses these formal elements to help form an intimate connection between the viewer and the painting. The use of contrast and unique composition physically brings the viewer closer to the painting. Velasquez then uses linear perspective to establish an even deeper connection between the figures and the viewer as well. It truly feels like one is talking directly to Diego himself in this piece. 